hey guys hope you guys are doing well and today we are back uh, with another video on the galaxy s9 uh, as you guys know uh, the fingerprint scanner placement on the samsung galaxy s9 has been very controversial right from the beginning at first the rumor suggested it would have inbuilt fingerprint scanner and later we learned that samsung galaxy s9 won't be having inbuilt fingerprint scanner it will only debut on note 9 but today we got some very interesting patent document leaked from Samsung which suggests Samsung is indeed trying to integrate a fingerprint scanner in the display. It's not like the inbuilt fingerprint scanner which the scanner would be under the display but this one will have the scanner on the top of the display or just like a notch into the display. We personally don't think it's a good idea to have another notch on the bottom uh, but again this is how the patent document suggests and it seems like Samsung is trying to compromise that uh, the front scanner with uh, with some something like this. So guys, let us know what you think about it. The second thing that we have here is about the artificial intelligence, uh, which is actually uh, becoming a great deal for Samsung. So according to the Korean Media Info, the Samsung is actually collaborating with DeepPi Tech, uh, which specializes on artificial intelligence uh, and the methods of data compression using neural networks. The other big companies which are collaborating with this new startup, DeepPi Tech, includes the MediaTek. Amazon Web Services and the list goes on. It seems the Samsung investments on this new company is aimed at development of dedicated chipset for neural processing which would be also known as NPU. So these new NPU chipset are designed specifically for interactive speech recognition, processing of neural processes, image recognition and any other task related to artificial intelligence. So what does this mean to us is that Samsung Galaxy S9 is going to be much more faster in processing artificial intelligence and will be able to do much more complex tasks as compared to its predecessor. But we have to wait until 2018 to see the results. So now coming to the third leak that we have here about the Galaxy S9 uh, which is actually related to the hyper wireless charging and this is also a patent document which has been leaked and it has been registered on March of this year. So there is high probability that we would see uh, this technology applied on the Galaxy S9. So according to the patent document, it seems uh, like the Samsung is trying to integrate uh, two separate methods of uh, wireless charging into a single charger. The first method is the magnetic induction charging which is currently used on most of the wireless chargers and it needs to maintain a close contact to the wireless charger while the new method which Samsung is trying to integrate into the charger is called the magnetic resonance which will allow the charger to charge a compatible device even if it's placed at a distance. Unfortunately, it's not clear like uh, both these methods could be uh, simultaneously used uh, or uh, the two devices with different standards can be simultaneously charged on the same charger. But again, the patent documents clearly shows a smartphone and a smartwatch charged simultaneously on the same charger. So if that really happens on the Galaxy S9, so that would be a great step ahead for Samsung in terms of wireless charging. Uh, so guys, uh, that's pretty much that we have here about the Samsung Galaxy S9 leaks. We would love to know your opinion on each of these leaks. Uh, let, let us know what you think about these and uh, what all you like about it. And uh, thanks for watching this video. And if you like this video, hit the like button, share with your friends and stay subscribed.